Here are five common errors people make with Onshape and how to fix them. I've been using 3D CAD software for a long time now and teaching it for almost as long. Over the last couple of years I've been teaching Onshape in the classroom and I've noticed plenty of people making the same mistakes as beginners. Check out this list of five common mistakes to see if you're doing any of them and then find out how to fix them. Closing the sketch dialog box prematurely. A lot of new users will come, make a sketch and then instantly think, great, I'm making a sketch now and hit the tick. Then they wonder why all their sketch tools have disappeared, come back up to sketch, close the box again. I've seen people do this over and over until they've got five or six empty sketches on the side and then they finally work out what's going on. The rule is simple. After you start a sketch, leave this box open until you finish drawing. If you're happy with what you've done, hit the green tick. If you want to discard your changes, hit the red tick. Remember that you can get back into any sketch at any time by double clicking it. If you've got any red features on the side, you can hover over them to find out what the problem was. For instance, here it's telling me it didn't have a sketch plane. If your model looks exactly like how you want it to, but you've got red features down the side, you might as well delete them because they're not adding anything anyway. Having the camera facing the wrong way while sketching. Quite often, people will have the camera orientated on a slight angle as they're sketching. Then as they come along and what they draw what they think is a square, I spin the camera around to reveal that it's actually not a square at all. In the worst instance, they have the camera facing 90 degrees to where they're actually drawing. So as they madly try to draw things, they wonder why nothing is drawing at all, no matter what tool that they try. You can see here that although I'm drawing on the top, I'm looking from the left. Imagine trying to draw on a piece of paper when it was facing 90 degrees to the side of you. Luckily, there's an easy solution to this problem. As soon as you start a sketch, press the N key on the keyboard to spin the camera to the normal of the sketch. This means you'll be looking flat on and everything will be as you intend. Over defining sketches. If you're partway through drawing something and everything turns red, well, you're going to have a bad day. This means you've over defined a sketch. As we draw our geometry and we add dimensions and constraints, we turn it from blue to black. This means that there's only one possible solution. The problem occurs with over constraining when you ask for two things that conflict. In this example, we've set our box to be 120 high, but as soon as I try to dimension it at something other than 120, the geometry turns red because Onshape can't possibly have it touching the top and bottom at 130, as well as being 120 tall. Most of the time you can simply click undo to go back before your mistake. Sometimes however, the solution is not so straightforward. That's where we have to look at the constraints one by one. You can click on them and then press delete on the keyboard to see if it improves the situation. Here if I delete one more, the sketch should be able to be solved. Take note that even when the sketch is not over constrained, you can take a look at the current constraints by clicking on any object. Hovering above will be icons for all of the constraints applied to that part. Hovering over these will highlight the matching part that they're linked with. Now if we simply click and press delete on the keyboard, we can break those constraints. Drawing in the wrong units. All too often, I'll ask a student to draw something in a certain size and they go ahead merrily and they don't realize this mistake. In this example here, I might have dictated that I want this circle to be 75 millimeters. Now when they go to dimension it, it becomes really, really big and they wonder what's going wrong. By default, on shape is set to inches, which is great if you're in the United States, but not very good for most other countries. The first clue is that when you're drawing, if it's showing fairly small numbers, you're probably still in inches. Since you've already started with this document, the fix is twofold. The first thing you need to do is to come up to the menu next to the on shape logo, go to workspace units and change it to your desired unit, millimeter in my case. That'll fix it for the current document, but if you want to stop this problem from happening again, you need to click on your name, come to my account, and then under preferences, change the units there as well. Make sure you hit the save button. You can return to your document knowing that in future, your units will be set exactly how you want them to be. Just to test that it's working, now when we draw some lines, the numbers are going to be much, much bigger. Generally with millimeters that are in the tens or hundreds or even thousands. With inches, they're going to be single or double digits. 
drawing geometry in the wrong place, and then completely butchering it when you try to move it. If something is blue in on shape, generally we can click and drag it to change its position and size. This works great for simple shapes like this rectangle, but it doesn't work very well for more complicated shapes like on the right. As soon as I click and drag to try and change this, it loses its proportion and sometimes, like this circle in the middle, things go completely out of whack. If I was trying to move this one down to the center, it's unlikely I'll be able to do that without completely ruining it. Let's undo this and show you the proper way to do it. If you want to move a collection of geometry without ruining its proportions, you need to select it all first. That means selecting everything one at a time, or if you're lucky and it's away from everything else, you can simply drag a box. Now you're going to right click and come down to Transform Sketch Entities. This will bring up the same controls as you have in an assembly, where you can use the arrows to direct things exact amounts, use the handles to rotate, and drag two directions at once. You'll find this a much, much easier way to move your things around without mangling them. When you're done, simply left click in space to complete the transformation. Quite often in Onshape, people ask me how they move things around. Note that in the Path Studio, you won't be able to do this. You can click and drag as much as you want, but nothing will happen. In this instance, you need to come inside and move the sketch. The technique that I just showed you will be perfect for this. Note that when you're in assemblies, you have multiple ways to move around your parts. You can click and drag, or you can single click and then use the handles that come up to move and rotate. Hopefully that list and its fixes had something that could help you. There's plenty more on shape coming up, including some real world design for real world products. See you soon. G'day, it's Michael again. If you liked the video, then please click like. If you want to see more content like this in future, click subscribe and make sure you click on the bell to receive every notification. If you really want to support the channel and see exclusive content, become a patron. Visit my Patreon page. See you next time.